right, so I'm back in high school. I'm standing in the middle of the cafeteria, and I realize I am totally naked. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> then I look down, and I realize there is a phone there. <laughs> Instead of... That's right. <laughs> All of a sudden, the phone starts to ring. And it turns out it's my mother. <laughs> Which is very, very weird, because... She never calls me. I just feel like someone reached down my throat, grabbed my small intestine, pulled it out of my mouth, and tied it around my neck. Cookie? <laughs> I just want to be married again. <laughs> and I just want a million dollars. All right, kids, I gotta get to work. If I don't input those numbers, doesn't make much of a difference. Unless you happen to catch the We Ones production of Pinocchio. Look, Geppetto. I'm a real live boy. <laughs> I will not take this abuse. You're right, I'm sorry. Once I was a wooden boy. A little... <laughs> Whose little ball of paper is this? Oh, that would be mine. See, uh, I wrote a note to myself, and then I realized I didn't need the note, so I balled it up, and now I wish I was dead. <laughs> Chandler, you're an only child, right? You didn't have any of this. Well, no, although I did have an imaginary friend who my parents actually preferred. <laughs> I opened it up and there it was just floating in there like this tiny little hitchhiker well maybe it's a contest you know like collect all five where's Joey? Joey ate my last stick of gum so I killed him <laughs> you think that was wrong? that's it I'm getting cigarettes no no no, 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 no. I don't care over. I'm weak. I've got to smoke. I've got to have the smoke. If you never smoke again, I'll give you seven thousand dollars. Yeah, all right. What's wrong with the twentieth? Eleven days before Halloween, all the good costumes are gone. <laughs> uh oh. What? There was ice there that night with Carol. Plastic seats. Four thousand angry Pittsburgh fans. <laughs> We've been here for over an hour, and a lot of people less sick than my friend have gone in. I mean, that guy with the toe thing. Who's he sleeping? <laughs> Oh, come on, Dora, don't be mad. I know we both said some things we didn't mean, but that doesn't mean we still don't love each other. You know, I, I feel like I've lost her. Fuck! You guys can pee standing up. We can? Okay, I'm trying that. So, Saturday night, the big night, date night, Saturday night, Saturday night. <laughs> No plans, huh? Not a one. He called me young lady. Ooh, I hate when my father calls me that. <laughs> Here's the thing, Janice. You know, I mean, it's like we're different. You know, I'm like the bing, bing, bing. You're like the boom, boom, boom. Ow! Oh, my God! Ow! I'm so sorry. Ow! Are you okay? Ow. Um, <laughs> it's just my lens. It's my lens. Um, I'll be right back. Ow. <laughs> I hit her in the eye. I hit her in the eye. This is the worst break up in the history of the world. Oh, my God. Okay. How many of those have you had? Oh, I don't know. A million? Yes. Hi. Um, <clears throat> okay, next word would be uh, Chandler. <laughs> Chandler is my name, and uh, <clears throat> hi. <clears throat> yes, you said that. Yes. Yes, I did, but what I didn't say was what I was about to say. What I wanted to say was, uh, would you like to go out with me sometime? Thank you. Good night. <laughs> Tell me one of your stories. All right, once, <clears throat> once, I got on the subway, right? And it was at night. And I rode it all the way to Brooklyn. Just for the hell of it. <laughs>
Whatever. I have no idea what you just said. Put Joey on the phone. What's up, man? A trip and an interview with Jill. Oh my God! He's trapped in an ATM vestibule with Jill Gooding. <laughs> Jalen, listen, listen. Yeah, like that thought never entered my mind. Do you like some gum? Oh, is it sugarless? <laughs>、uh, sorry, it's not. Oh, then no thanks. What the hell was that? <laughs> Mental note: If Jill Goodacre offers you gum, you take it. If she offers you mangled animal carcass, you take it. <laughs> you know, on second thought, gum would be perfection. <laughs> gum would be perfection. Gum would be perfection. Could have said gum would be nice. Could have said I'll have a stick. But no, 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 no. For me, gum is perfection. I loathe myself. All right. Okay. What next? Blow a bubble. A bubble's good. It's got a、uh, boyish charm. It's impish. Here we go. Nice going, imp. Okay, okay, it, it, it's okay. All I need to do is reach over and put it back in my mouth. Good save. We're back on track, and I'm chewing someone else's gum. This is not my gum. Oh my god. Oh my god. And now you're choking. Out of my league. I could get a Brian. If I wanted to get a Brian, I could get a Brian. Hey, Brian. And this from the Cry for Help department. Are you wearing makeup? Yes, I am. As of today, I am officially Joey Tribbiani, actor slash model. Thank you. That's so funny because I was thinking you look more like Joey Tribbiani, man slash woman. Underdog has gotten away. The balloon? No, no, the actual cartoon character. Hey, that monkey's got a Ross on his ass. <laughs> Too many jokes. <laughs> Must mock Joey. <laughs> nice shoes, huh? Die!、Ah, you're killing me. <laughs> ah! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yes, yes. You just barged in here. You don't knock. You、I'm、have no、sorry. respect for anybody's privacy. Wait, wait, wait.、Um, no, you wait. This is ridiculous. Can I just say one thing. What? What? That's a relatively open weave, and I can still see your. Nipular area.、Oh. <laughs> no, I don't know why you're so embarrassed. They were very nice boobies. <laughs> nice? They were nice. I mean, that, that, that's it. I mean, mittens are nice. <laughs> okay, rock. Hard place. Me. <laughs> Come on, I'll, I'll show you to my room. That sounds so weird when it's not followed by "No thanks, it's late." <laughs> Hey, Kiki. <laughs> What are you doing? Just trying to get comfortable.、I、can't sleep in my underwear. Well, you're gonna. <laughs> If I turn into my parents, I'll either be an alcoholic blonde chasing after twenty-year-old boys, or I'll end up like my mom. <laughs> Think it'll work? No way. It's suicide. The man's got an egg. <laughs> How do I look? Oh, um, I don't care. <laughs> There's Lorraine. Okay, now remember, no trading. You get the pretty one, I get the mess. Here's my credit card. Dinner's on me. I'm sorry, Chandler. I hope she throws up on you. <laughs> oh man, in my next life, I'm coming back as a toilet brush. He showed me where the restaurant's gonna be. It's it's, it's this cute little place on Tenth Street. It's not too big. It's not too small. It's just right. Was it formerly owned by a blonde woman and some bears? <laughs> Eight and a half hours of aptitude tests, intelligence tests, personality tests, and what do I learn? You were ideally suited for a career in data processing for a large multinational corporation. Maybe this will cheer you up. Ooh, you know,、um, I had a grape about five hours ago, so I better split this with you. <laughs> Helen, could you come in here for a moment? <laughs> Thank you, Helen. That'll be all.
Last time I do that, I promise. I've got to go. I've, I've got Lamaze class. Oh, and I've got earth science, but I'll catch you in gym. <laughs> Say you never feel like a father. Mm-hmm. Say your son never feels connected to you as one. Say all of his relationships are affected by this. Do you have a point? You know you'd think I would. <laughs> the doctor got the K out. He also found an M and an O. We think he was trying to spell out monkey. Rach, Rach, we gotta settle. Settle what? The Jamestown colony of Virginia. <laughs> you see, King George is giving us the land, so... Yeah, we're gonna go take a bath. Yes, we are, aren't we? Yes, we are. They're still just friends, right? <laughs> I figured after work, I'd go pick up a bottle of wine, go over there, and uh, try to woo her. Hey, you know what you should do? You should take her back to the 1890s when that phrase was last used. You're a monkey. You're loose in the city. Where do you go? Okay, it's his first time out, so he's probably going to want to do some of the touristy things. I'll go to Cats. You go to the Russian tea room. Okay, from now on, you don't get to talk to other people. Got her machine. Her answer machine? No. Interestingly enough, her leaf blower picked up. Hello? 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 Can I use the phone? You've got to do something about the humping. What? It's, it's just a phase. Well, that's what we said about Joey. I can't believe you two had sex in her dream. I'm, I'm sorry, it was a one-time thing. I was very drunk, and it was someone else's subconscious. How young is young, Ethan? Young? Our age. When we were... Can you hear that? <laughs> yeah. See, that'll stop when you pick up the phone. <laughs> See, it pays to know the man who wears my shoes. Me. <laughs> I don't sound like that. That is so not true. <laughs> that is so not. That is so not. That. Oh, shut up. You know, sometimes just things don't work out. And this has nothing to do with the fact that he needs a note to get out of gym. <laughs> what is that? For the ride. Oh, yeah, like in a cab. You Save it. Okay, hating this. Monica. Seriously, is there something fundamentally unmarriable about me? Uh, uh. Well? Dear God, this, this parachute is a knapsack. <laughs> Somebody want to help me trying to rip out my heart? Uh, oh, that's great. Anybody seen a nipple? <laughs> Men are here. <laughs> we make fire. <laughs> Cook meat. Then put out fire by peeing, no get invited back. Well, the tough thing is she really wants to have sex with me. Crazy bitch. There is a little child inside this man. Yes, the doctors say if they remove it, he'll die. I can't believe he remembered. Well, sure, but can you play it on a plane? This flight doesn't leave for another 45 more minutes. What about the time difference? From here to the airport? Yes. <laughs> Seven hundred bucks. All right, you did it. Do we have any fruit? <laughs> Misha was terrified and was hiding in a corner below her bed with her hands covering her mouth shut. The figure walked all over her room and then disappeared downstairs. She was relieved that the figure was gone, but scared that someone was in her closet all along. Suddenly, the pin drop silence was broken when she heard someone run upstairs. It was the long-haired, dark figure, and it stopped right in front of her bed. All it had to do to find Misha was look down. But instead, the figure laid in her bed. She could feel the bed compress over her. A scream was about to rip from her throat when two big sunken eyes were suddenly staring at her. The figure was leaning over the bed, looking below it, right at Misha. She couldn't hold back her voice anymore and began screaming. The figure sat on her bed for some time and then walked away into another room. Not long after, Liz returned and heard the screams of Misha coming from upstairs. When she went to her room, she saw her sick daughter crouched under the bed, terrified, screaming, sobbing, and sweating. At that moment, Liz just wanted to leave the home forever.
but as she was financially so much invested in the house, she couldn't walk away. She felt truly hopeless that when she did some digging, she found me. And here I was, listening to these three ladies narrate their story to me. As soon as I walked into their home, I knew that their home was possessed. But from the description Misha gave, I figured it must be a witch. I decided to stay with the ladies for some time to help them. That night, while I was in the kitchen drinking water, suddenly, all the cabinets opened and the crockery stacked inside flew at me. I was hit by a few dishes and the noise of so many utensils dropping at the same time got all three ladies to the kitchen. Liz helped me out of the mess, while Misha and Joe were terrified. I knew that water had gone over my head, so I decided to confront the witch head on. The evil spirit must have sensed my intentions, as the witch appeared in the hallway. As she approached the living room, the lights began to go off in the house. Liz and the girls were hiding in a corner beside me. I wore my locket and started reciting some mantras. Soon, an ear-piercing scream could be heard from the witch. My prayers were affecting her, and she was on her knees with bloodshot sunken eyes looking right at me. I kept on praying and picked up a cross that was kept on a table nearby. I walked forward with the cross in my hand and the witch began to retreat. It felt like my mantras were working when suddenly something hit my head so hard that I fell a little dizzy. A nearby light bulb had fallen on me and my powers were weakened. I still kept on praying, thinking about the women I had to protect. Next, the witch raised all the fallen utensils and aimed them not at me, but at the two kids. I recited my mantras more loudly, and suddenly, all the utensils flew in the witch's direction. Right there, I could see a spirit of a man helping me protect the Maxfield family. And from the pictures I had seen, I recognized it to be Mr. Maxfield, helping me save the ladies of his family from the demonic witch. With his powers combined with mine, I managed to corner the witch. She was screaming and trying her best to get out of my control, but I tried my hardest. When I was close enough, I touched the cross to the witch's head, which turned her into dust. Finally, the Maxfield family was safe, and I saw Mr. Maxfield leave the home, smiling at his ladies with tears in his eyes. I gathered the remains of the witch and took them to the church where a pastor I knew would dispose of them for me. Now Liz, Misha, and Joe live happily in the house, and I am happy that I was able to help them with my knowledge of the paranormal.